fire amp so that I can keep this going. I don't know how well I'll be able to pull it off. We'll see when we get towards the end. Um, it might fall into Scottish, I don't know. But we'll see. Um, so I thought it'd be quite nice to document my journey going around the Ring of Kerry. Now the Ring of Kerry is in County Kerry, which is on the south of Ireland. Uh, Ireland, not Ireland, Ireland, <laughs> which is on the south of Ireland and it's one of the southern peninsulas um, and it's uh, quite our tourist attraction um, that people tend to go around so I thought uh, it's been one of the things on my list that I want to go and do it's 135 miles to travel all the way around I'm heading straight for the Gap of Dunlow which is in the middle um, Ah, see, it's one Scottish now. Right, go back to Lardy Dardy TDT. Right, but that's where I'm heading for first, and then from there I will then head on round the uh, peninsula itself. I do want to see if I can go on to uh, a boat tour over towards the uh, the uh, Isles of Skellig, um, Skellig Michael. Um, which is where they shot Star Wars, which is actually Luke Skywalker's island. So I'd be quite interested to get there. I'm not holding my hopes up, though, because there's a chance I might not be able to get there, depending on the ferrets and stuff and what time I arrive and how expensive it is and all that nonsense. But I am very much looking forward to having a look to see what's actually available around the Ring of Kerry um, and what sites and stuff there are. There's a little couple of places I want to stop off at to actually have a look see and see what's there and maybe get a bit of footage and stuff but I'm not too fussed I'm just gonna document the journey really oh, I see I went Scottish again damn it I'm not too fussed about what I see and what I won't see I'm just most mostly doing it to see I've done it and also like document the journey and stuff because it might be I feel with the views and stuff it might be quite an interesting day like it was back a couple of days ago when I did the route through County Mayo and County Galloway to Limerick. That was quite a nice scenic drive. So, I mean, judging by the mountains and stuff I can see now, I mean, I could show you, but it won't pick up very well on the GoPro. So, um, you know, the, what I'm seeing from here, it's gonna look like quite an interesting journey. So, uh, you know, fingers crossed, it's gonna be quite an interesting daily episode I bring to you from the Emerald Isle. feels so weird to keep doing the Irish accent, but really trying to hold it off for the rest of this video. But I finally arrived at this beach. I've forgotten the name of. Something Strand. Rosley Strand. Something like that. I've come as far down the beach as I really can um, to get away from people. There are people everywhere. No matter where you go in Ireland, I find there's just people everywhere. I think if you want true solidarity, go to Scotland. I definitely feel Ireland is far more explored than Scotland. I feel, and I, I don't know why that is. Maybe, maybe that's down to I'm Scottish now, Irish. Maybe Irish. Maybe that's down to for God's sake. <laughs> Irish, Irish, Irish. Lardy, Lardy, Lardy. Maybe, maybe that's down to maybe that's down to weather or something. I don't know because the weather here is very similar to back home in England, whereas in Scotland it can be a lot more severe. So I feel. Like it's definitely far more explored around here, so 
everything's a lot more accessible as well. So I feel that's why it's a lot busier here than it is in Scotland. But they're two very different places. It's trying to sum up Scotland and Ireland and Wales and in it's what like which do I prefer? I I couldn't really say. I think for solidarity, Scotland. My second home, Wales. But Ireland is new, it's fresh. And I haven't become accustomed to it yet. It's you know, it's probably be a couple of months down the line before I was like, oh, I really miss Ireland, I really miss this, I really miss that. So I haven't really given it a moment yet. But anyway, we're at the beach. Let's have a look, see what's here. It's a stone beach. No, there is sand down at the bottom. Let's have a look, see if there's here. Oh, yeah. oh. That doesn't that look nice. Jesus, I'm going blind here. But I think, in fact, it is safe enough to get the drone out. So I think that is what we're going to do.
Uh, so I didn't really get a chance to say anything before we actually went and did it. But we went on a boat ride to the uh, Skellig, Skellig Isles. It's So we went over towards Skellig Island, um, Michael Skellig, Little Skellig, I don't actually know the name of the Little Skellig one, but one had a load of birds on it, 30,000 or something, or is it 16,000? I can't remember, but a lot of thousands of birds were on one particular island, got some footage of that, and then we went over to Michael Skellig, which was an old monk's monastery, and uh, also the island they used for Luke Skywalker. So in partial weekends right at the end and then for quite a portion of uh, The Last Jedi was out the second one in the reboots. Uh, it was all, well I say all, most of it was filmed on the island, the rest of it was probably shot in green screens. But that was that island. But the boat trip out there was so choppy, like unbelievably choppy. Like they said, oh, you might get wet. So I was like, oh, well, I bring, I put the weather shade lens on and I'll wear my coat. And as soon as we got there, their biggest wave comes splashing straight over us, took us all out. I mean, by the end of it, pretty much everyone was feeling really sick and queasy. And when we were going around actual Michael Skelly, because it's the furthest one away. So when you finally got there, most people were just sat in their seats, just like, oh, really trying to hold it in i was up out and got the camera out and everything but i i mean i wasn't feeling queasy or anything like that but seeing them feel sick and want to be sick it's not a pretty sight for yourself to see so that was that was interesting in itself but salt from the waves was just ridiculous the amount of sea salt that was being blasted everywhere and it went all of the, all over the camera so we're going to give that a proper clean tonight. I've just cleaned off the lens, but I, I really need to properly clean it. Um, oh, and because I was out with the camera and I was holding on to this metal box, my whole muscle across here is in absolute agony. I feel like I've been stabbed or something. Well, that's fine. I'm sure the footage, and I, I mean the footage is going to be like this of the boat but it should look pretty good to be fair um and one of the highlights i mean ireland and everything itself is pretty cool you're not allowed on the island at this time of year but it was pretty cool to go past it and take a boat journey anyway that was quite fun but when we uh uh was heading out we were actually creating these wakes and these waves and these dolphins they were just diving in splashing around making saying hello it was amazing i've never actually I, I don't think i actually have seen dolphins in real life up close maybe in an aquarium but i can't tell you for certain but most definitely that was probably one of the biggest highlights of this trip so far is seeing dolphins like in some essence we are swimming with dolphins which was quite cool to be honest um but uh I've just, I won't be able to do the whole of the Ring of Kerry because the boat trip itself took two hours, which I didn't realise at the time until after I booked it. And then, oh, well, like, so it's going to be a two hour trip, and you won't be able to back till five o'clock. And I was like, and I need like another two hours, I think it was, to get around the rest of the Kerry. And I was like, oh, I need to get back um, before the end of dinner because I'll be starving. So I've decided, so I'm cutting through Kerry. And I've just stopped off at this absolutely amazing view. Uh, I don't actually know where it is I am. I know it's in the middle of Kerry. It's not part of the Ring of Kerry route, but it's in the middle of it. I will show you this view here, which is beautiful. I don't know if I want to change lenses yet though, because there's going to be sea salt and stuff and I really need to get in there. Yeah, I can actually see the salt. I can actually see, I'm not even joking, I can actually see the salt just lying outside the, uh, uh, the weather seal there. I, I will not be, I could probably use this lens, but 
sum it up basically i'm soaked the camera is covered in sea salt we're not going on the rest of the way the ring of kerry we're now cutting through kerry towards killarney and back to limerick back to the hotel that is everything in a nutshell and if there's anything interesting on route i will certainly share it with you if not adieu adieu what's actually like gaelic for the boy i don't actually know that would be a more interesting thing to see more off topic Bye. this was quite a decent attempt at the accent then I'd love to hear it and if you didn't like it well you know where to go